at the right hand of the throne of God. <clears throat> Amen. For just a few moments, I like for us to reflect back in the same manner as the Hebrew children did because this letter was written to encourage them to run on. They to not return to the old Judaic, Judaic way of worship. And we are challenged today in a culture that we have to fight for the right to stand for that which God has already ordained. You're not going to be popular if you stand for the right thing. But more or less, you're not going to be popular if you fight for the rest for the right thing. This text suggests that Christians are to fight for the right thing. So we have a right to fight. We got to fight. We don't have a choice to fight. And so, a person does not fight for, a, for or against anything is a person who does not stand for anything. You ain't got something to fight for, you don't stand for nothing. And so, because there are those who have no principles, and those who have principles must stand up against them who have no principles. My grandmama called them scruples. I don't know where she get that word from, but see, the people ain't got no scruples. They'll do anything. But the fact is, the, the key to this text is the fact that we, he's talking to those of us who have been uh, who have put their trust in God. And so we are, we are justified. Now, because both evil and good exist in our world, fighting is inevitable. And, 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 and whether you know it or not, we often have spiritual tumors that run interference with my spiritual race. And, and, and the closest I can come, and not that you have a tumor, but the closest I can come is that, is that uh, it relates to habits that run interference with our spiritual journey. So the, so the author say, well, 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 lay aside every habit. You know that stuff you like to do that you don't need to do? That stuff you like to say that you don't need to say? Ain't nobody going to walk with me. Stuff, he said, you can't run properly and lawfully when you're burdened down with habits that interfere with your worship, that interfere with your goal, that interfere with your destiny. He said, lay aside, which means there are some things that you have to make a choice because tumors I can't see. You can't see the tumor in me, but I know there's some tumors. I ain't nobody going to help me. There's some spiritual tumors that need to be laid aside. So if I'm going to fight, I have to fight with releasing unnecessary habits that run interference with my journey. Now watch this. He said also, he said, and the sin, which means that he said this word and chi mean the Greek that, that the weight and the sin. You can't cut the sin off and hold on to the habit. When you cut off the habit, you got to cut off the sin. Ain't nobody going to talk to me. He, and he said, because watch this, what the sin does, it, it besets you. It easily besets you because you, you remember when the summer said, he said, he said, he said, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, not standeth in the way of the sinner, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. And what he's saying is that you have to, you have to lay aside that. Now, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily sinning. It could be some folk you're hanging around. Second point, if I'm going to run, if I'm going to win, if I'm going to fight, I have to fight running. 
Let me try that again. I got to fight running. Don't fight sitting down. You can't fight sitting down. You get beat every time. You can't fight being in cahoots with a culture that does not trust God. You can't fight being in cahoots with a culture that does not believe in the authority of the word of God. You are different because we who are justified have said heaven and earth and believe it will pass away before one word or one jot or one tittle of the word of God fail. I got to fight with what success is and God's word is success. When you run, you got to endure the burden of a left and right block and a front block. But if you hang in there, sooner or later, somebody is going to get out of my way. If you hang in there, you got to learn how to look to him because I can't run and I can't reach my goal unless Jesus is running ahead of me say yeah we got the fight looking to Jesus when I looked at the text it says wait a minute looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher it means he started this race and he got to finish this race say so, yeah so if I'm gonna run I got to keep looking to him <laughs>